This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3, and verse 19. Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in his sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakwadash, Brakadam, to use a cornium, Waki Makwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments. To the best of your ability, given diligence to make your calling and election short, of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and now Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in, this brother Shai, Ban Yasha Allah. This be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Havya Abashim Al Shai on how the secrets of the scriptures have been revealed to the elect men, the prophets, in these last days, man. All right. The secrets of the scriptures have re has been revealed to the elect in these last days, starting with the prophets. All right. And I pray this be something quick, edifying, uplifting as well, because we have truly been blessed to understand and know the things that we know. All right. We know what 99% of the world does not know, man. The understanding of the scriptures. They can know stories. They can know, you know, King David versus Goliath, right? They can know about Moses. They can, know, they can know about the Lord Yahweh Shai, but they call him the wrong name. They can know these different stories and events, but do they truly understand? Can they truly grasp it how we can? No, they can't. Why? Because the Lord did not reveal it unto them. The Lord did not unseal their pineal gland, all right? Their third eye, so to speak. But he unsealed ours. When he died on that cross, he unsealed the book, man, all right? The understanding for the elect men, because it all starts with the elect, all right? The Lord deals with what? With order. You see? So let me read this again. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 19. Many are in high place and of renown. Right? As many people that's in high places, renown, right? But mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Let's get the book of Corinthians, right? Because the Apostle Paul is going into this. And what inspired this lesson with the elders and apostles, right? Of Great Millstone, so the elder apostles to Har and down um, the camp. It was, you know, basically mentioned this um, through the Spirit. You got men like Vocab Malone, who went to theologian school, studied and all of this, but he don't understand the scriptures, man. <laughs> he can't get around the Gentiles. You know, he can't get around a lot of things, man. All right? He just threw. But we've been blessed, you know? Ordinary, so-called ordinary men, because in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, we're not ordinary, but we have been called by Yahweh Bashim al Shai and been blessed with the understanding of the scriptures, man. Men that dropped out of college, men that dropped out of high school, got the GED. You know, men that just construction workers, you know, delivery drivers, all right? Men that, you know, that do Uber Eats. You see that? Ordinary men that didn't go to no theologian school, all right? None of these different things confounding the wise, man. How can we do that? You know, through the Holy Spirit, all right? It's the Racha Chodash, the Holy Spirit, that we're able to do these things, man. And the Lord ultimately just chose us, man. And Lord willing, we're, you know, we actually the chosen, the elect. Because we know we've been called to this thing, and the Lord bless us with wisdom and understanding. And knowledge with wisdom is what? The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. All right? So we've been blessed, man. That's First John, third chapter, the great love that he bestowed upon us. You see that? Let's read 1 Corinthians 1 and verse um, 20. It says, um, matter of fact, so it's 9, 19. It says, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. It will bring the, to nothing the understanding of the prudent. All right? Like on this side, you got a lot of, you know, so-called philosophers, wise men of this world. The Lord is bringing them to nothing, man. You know, by using lowly men. All right? Men from the ghettos. Men from the projects. All right? From the from the slums. All right? From nothing. Go out there to the highways and the byways, and we confounding everybody, man. Anyone that come up asking any type of question, trying to debate brothers, we defend the gospel, man. All right? If they can't get it, we moving on. Is that simple? Because we have the 100% truth. All right. Verse 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the heavenly father, right? Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world. So we got people that talk about all type of things, the universe, and they try to sound all deep. And we make them like fools, man, to bring out the word. All right. It says, for after that, in the wisdom of the Mosai, the world by wisdom knew not the heavenly father, Yahweh. It pleased Yahweh 
by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe because we look foolish when God didn't teach. But we're, but what we're teaching, all right, is I'm read on as a matter of fact because um let's just read on, right? But basically we look like fools when we go out there with the garments, reading the Bible, with young men, you know, people look at us like we're crazy, for real. All right. But we try, we're preaching to them, we preach so we can save them that believe the gospel. Man. We're only fishing for who? The elect. All right. Verse 22, for the Jews require a sign, right? And the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Hamashiach crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block. Our people back then was a stumbling block to them. All right. And unto the Greeks foolishness. So what we was preaching back then to the Greeks was foolish. You know, Israelite foreigners. It was foolish to them. It says, but unto them, which are called both Jews and Greeks, I might shock the power just going to the Israelites, foreigners, and the actual those that knew those Israelites. It says, it says, I might shock the power of the Most High Yahweh and the wisdom of the Most High Yahweh, because the foolishness of the Heavenly Father is wiser than men. All right? So what we do it looks foolish in the eyes of men, but it's wiser than them. All right? It, it says, we don't, and the weakness of the Heavenly Father is stronger than men. All right, and we're the weak things of this world, the basement. We're lowly, like I started off with Ecclesiastes 3 19. All right, mysteries are revealed unto who the meek, which are the lowly. All right, it says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how not, how that not many, not many wise men out of the flesh, right? Which Apostle Paul, he was a wise man, um, because he grew up uh, under the foot of Gamaliel. All right, he was studied, he was a learned man. I'm making some precepts on how you know the apostles wasn't learned. You know, and um, they was confounding everybody with just preaching the gospel. All right, why? Because of the Chakudash, even our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, he, he he his father was a carpenter. Joseph was a carpenter, and I'm gonna get the precepts. You know, I don't even want to really quote it. I want to read them, but well, I don't forget. But let's read on. It says, um, verse twenty six, first Corinthians one and twenty six. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But the Heavenly Father have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, man. And we're confounding the wise, all right? And the Heavenly Father have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Okay, verse 28. And base things of the world, which is us, and things which are despised, which is us, have the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, chosen. Yea, and the things which are not, and to bring to not things that are. So all praise y'all by Shemel Shai. All right. Matter of fact, let's get that precept. Um, what the Lord Yahweh Shai said. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 25. And at that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babe, babes. All right, which is us. Let's read that again. Matthew eleven twenty five. 25. At that time, Yahweh Shah answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. <clears throat> All right. So it is truth. The gospel, the understanding of the scriptures has been revealed unto the babes, man. All right. And that's what the scriptures say. What? To the kingdom of heaven, you have to be reborn again. All right. So you have to like literally spirit, not literally spiritually be reborn again. All right. So you have to be like a newborn babe, which a babe is like a sponge absorbing everything around it, ready to learn. All right. And you have to put basically when it comes to the faith, everything you thought you knew, you have to become a fool that you may be wise. All right. So this is a beautiful thing, man. All right. What we're involved in. Let's get some more precepts. Um. <clears throat> I get a few more. This is the book of Acts 4 and verse 13. All right. It says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. They marveled at their wisdom. All right. And their boldness. It says, And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shai. So they knew that they was with Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because the boldness and the wisdom that they had. All right. Let's get a few more. <clears throat> I want to get Colossians through the Spirit. 
But very quick, let's get Ecclesiastes chapter 51. And we'll get straight to the point. It says, um, verse 23, draw near unto me, ye unlearned, and dwell in a house of learning. All right. And that's what we all did come to faith this truth. The Lord what put us back into remembrance that we once knew this. All right. In our past life, we once knew this, man. All right. So that's when we first woke up to the truth. It's like, wow, this is like we, we took it with so much joy because we knew it already in our past life. It was within us. The Lord just had to unseal it, had to awaken us. All right. And we had to get taught by men. So we say what? That I shall see that I teach us. All right. And um, let me see some. Acts 8 and 31. It says. Let me see. Uh, let's, start, let's start at 29. No, no. 28. Was returning and sitting in his chair. Read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this cherry. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. You see that? So he needed a man to guide him to understand what he was reading. You see? And so that's all of us coming to the faith of the truth. We can't just wing it. We get guided through the Holy Spirit, man. We get taught. All right? Then we teach others. Because this mystery has been hid, you know, for a long time. The understanding of the scriptures, man. A lot of people to this day still can't get it. Look at a precept. This is a book of um, Colossians 1, verse 26. I'm trying to see if I want to start off some of the chapters. Good. All right. Look at verse 24. 23. It says, If you continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and what which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am... am and made a minister, a servant, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the affliction of my shock in my flesh, for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Most High, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High. Even the mysteries, right? See the word of the Most High, right? Even the mystery, which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. So the mystery. The secrets have been made manifest to his saints, man. All right. Going to the Israelites, starting with the elect of the nation, starting with the prophets of the nation of Israel. All right. It says, to whom the heavenly father would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is life for us, which is, which is Hamashiach in you, the hope of glory, whom we, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Hamashiach Yahawashai, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily, man. So we have to strive. We have to keep pushing. We have to keep laboring, keep working, grinding, praying, fasting, enduring, preaching, prophesying. All right? Because this is a gift that we have to understand the secrets of the scriptures. Because the scriptures like it to what? They like it to like a, po a poem, a poetic, you know, dark parables and dark sayings. All right? And we have to be occupied in these prophecies, man. Breaking them down. Always going over them. All right? Because not everyone got this. What we have. Right? Because the secrets of the scriptures has been revealed to the elect in these last days. Starting with the prophets, man. You see? So this mystery has been hid from age and generation. But it was unsealed when Yahweh Shah died on the cross. Look at that very quick. Revelation, the fifth chapter. Revelation 5 and 1, and I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book, which is the scriptures, written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. I mean, it was completely sealed, right? And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof, all right? So to loose those seals so we could get the understanding. Who was worthy to do that? And no man in heaven, no one earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look um, thereon. And I wept much. So St. John the Revelator started crying. He wept because no one could open it in heaven and on, on earth. Right? It says, and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Who's the lion of the tribe of Judah? Yahawashai, the root of David, had prevailed to open a book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. As it had been slain, although Yahweh Shah, he died on the cross, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits 
right, of the Most High sent forth into all the earth, which is the horns represent power. We have complete power and complete understanding. All right. It says, um, which are the seven spirits that the Most High sent forth into all the church. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders of angels fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vows for the orders, which are the prayers of the saints. So they have our prayers, man. All our prayers we send up, the angels deliver it. Deliver it up to the Father, right? It says, and they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and has redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth, man. You see that? So it's through Yahweh Shai we got the understanding of the scriptures, the mysteries. All right. Let's get Amos. Chapter 3. In verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? You see that? So the Heavenly Father controls all things, man. Verse 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto the, his servants, the prophets. So the prophets are back on the earth. And before the destruction comes, the Lord will reveal the secrets to the prophets. Like Isaiah 42 verse 9 says, Before some that springs forth, he tells you of them. And now as he speak, Luke 1 and verse 70, by way of his prophets, which has been since the world began. All right. Verse 8, The lion have roared, who will not fear, the Lord power have spoken, and who can but prophesy. All right. I'm going to get that account when our Lord was, um, let me see. I believe it was Luke. No, it's not it. Let me see. Where you at? Slack it, I can. Right here. Luke 2. All right, when I look, Yahweh Shah was 12 years old. Luke 2 and verse, um, watch this. 42, and when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast were around the Passover. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Yahweh Shah tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they supposed him to have been in the company when a day's journey, and they sought him after the kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, which are the doctors of the law, all right, the Pharisees, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou dealt, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and have sought thee sovereign. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought? How is it that you sought me? Was ye not that I must be by my father's business? And his, his um, physical father was Joseph, was a carpenter. He wasn't talking about him. He was talking about the Most High Yahweh, all right, being about this work. All right. So basically, um, let's read on. It says, And they understood not the same which he spake unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Yahweh Shah increased in wisdom and stature and in favor of the Most High Man. He was only 12 years old, confounding the doctors of the law. You know, hearing them, asking them questions, and they was all amazed and astonished at his understanding and answers, man. All right? And his, and his physical father was a carpenter, so you know they was like, what the, what the hell? You know, how did he know all of this, man? It was a Holy Spirit. It was born within him. You see that? He knew his mission from, from the get-go, man. And at the age of 12, that's when a man, according to the scriptures, become a man. All right? But he still was subject, you know, had to, you know, uh, like I said right here. Uh, was it a, He was subject to them, you know, to his parents. You know? But his mom remembered all, everything that he said. That he forgot what the angel told him before he was born. His mission, basically. All right? So, man... We've been blessed to understand this, man. These secrets is, 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 you know, it's heavy. You know, it's another scripture I'm thinking about. Um, let me see if it pops up just by typing this in. It may or may not. 
right? So bear with me, I can find this precept. Right, I think this is it. So that's another thing Tom wanted to say. I mentioned it earlier through the spirit, but you know, it's a blessing to have these secrets. You know, because this leads, this wisdom leads to a kingdom. All right. But um, we you at? This one I read earlier. I think this is what I want. John seven. Yeah. This is John 7 and verse 9. I saw verse 9. When he had said these words to them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, they went. Then when he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret, then the Jews saw him at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man. Others said, Nay, but he deceived the people. Howbeit no man spake openly of him for the fear of the Jews. Now about the now about the midst of the feast of, of the feast, Yahweh Shai went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Let's see what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai answered them, answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but it is that sent me some of the most high Yahweh. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of the Mosai, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his own his glory, sorry, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true. And no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? Alright, so you rebuke them, you cut them. Alright. How does man know these letters have never learned? And that's what people think about us too. Cause remember the servant no greater than his Lord. So people look at us like, man, that's why a lot of people don't want to listen to us. Like, how did man, how did you know this, man? You went to theologian school, you studied, you went to college for this? No. It's how you know this. You know, we, we learn through the Holy Spirit. We learn from men. They, but, uh, you know, they ain't trying to get down with it. But guess what? This is how the Lord deals, man. Mysteries are revealed unto the meek. All right? So we've truly been blessed. And this is more peace I was thinking about. You know, um, let me see. <clears throat> Let me just see if this is what I want. I believe it's Sirach 39. Yeah. Sirach 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in a meditation thereof will seek out all the wisdom of, of, the, of all the ancient. Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtitle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences to be conversant in dark parables. All right. Says, he shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he have tried the good and the evil among men. He will give his heart to restore early, resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. You see that when the great Lord will. He shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, in his prayers. It says, He shall direct his counsel in knowledge and in his secrets shall he meditate. And that's us, man. All right? That's what we occupy these prophecies. You see that? We are um, seeking Yahweh Bashem al Shai, always, you know, praying, asking him for our sins. All right? We, we, we're conversing in dark parables and secrets. A lot of things we talk about amongst each other. People walk by, but what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> they don't understand. All right. So I believe that's what I wanted. But uh, let me see. No, that's what we don't. Let's we get this as well. Verse eight. He shall sue forth that which he have learned, right? And shall glory in the Lord, the covenant of the Lord. Many shall commend his understanding. And so long as the world endureth, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. All right. So this understanding, this knowledge, man, is like 
it's like um scripture say what a, a precious name is better than a good name is better than precious ointment. So we're leaving off a legacy, all right, by proclaiming this, man. And then when you know we all know the prophecy of you know the famine of hearing the words of the Lord. When our time come, everyone gonna seek this wisdom, seek this understanding, all right. That's been right in their face all along, by way of the prophets. But it'd be too late for the vast majority. All right, so we've been blessed, you know, to have these secrets, which shows the Lord is dealing with us, man. The fact that we know what we know, and we like literally break down the scriptures how we do, it is a blessing, and not everybody has it. So brothers, don't 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 sit there and start beating yourself up, man. We've been blessed, all right. Don't have that war with me spirit, man. We've been blessed, man. All right, we all catch hell, go to certain things, but when we go through it, I should say what when much wisdom is grief, much knowledge is, is grief, you know, because King Solomon said that. So yeah, we gonna catch hell. All right, it's in our mouth sweet as honey, but then our belly bitter. We understand what's going on. All right, but don't forget the blessing. Cause not everyone, not everyone knows this, man. All right, and we have to teach. We understand. It's not that we just know. We understand it. All right, we understand what's going on. We understand the latter end of the Most High's movie. You see that? So the secrets of the scriptures have been revealed to the elect men, the prophets, in these last days. And I, this is no scripture I'm thinking about, and I feel like if I don't get it. But I mean, it's up to y'all, Bashim. I'll share whether I get it or not. All right. Let me see. I'm going to type it in on Google. If it pops up, it does. If not, it's fine. <clears throat> Call out y'all, Bashim. I'll share. It's not even what I wanted, but I'm going to end it with this one, man. It's a good one. Let me see. Yeah, this is a great, great precept. Look at Danny, the second chapter. All right. So get Daniel 2. This is the time when Nebuchadnezzar had that uh that dream. Right? He wanted his his men, his wise men and counselors and all of them to break it down to him and tell him the dream to break it down, but he couldn't. Look at Daniel 2. Let me see. Where should I start at? Let me jump down to like 22. Verse 19. Let's read verse 19. It says, um, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed the power of heaven, the Most High Yahweh Shemalshai. Daniel answered and said, "Blessed be the name of Yahweh Shemalshai forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons, removeth he removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and this in secret things. He knoweth what is." In the darkness and the light that dwelleth with him. I thank thee and praise thee, O Yahweh Bashim al Shah, power of my fathers, who have given me wisdom and might, and has made known unto me now what we desire for thee, for thou hast made known unto us the king's matter. Alright? Now let's jump down to verse 47. It says, Then the king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your power is the power of powers, right? And Lord of kings. And revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldst reveal this secret, man. So all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? He's the revealer of secrets, and we have been blessed with the secrets of the scriptures of the times to know what's about to happen. We could break down this chapter, Daniel's second chapter, the seventh chapter, Revelation, all the dark parables and dark sayings of the scriptures that people just don't get, can't get. All right, we know it. All right, all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Genesis, that's a big parable. All right. So the Most High, he revealed the deep and the secret things unto his elect, all right? Th starting with the prophets, all right? And the elect men, women, children, they could understand it, all right? Because they've been taught by the prophets, you know, if you can understand. But that's all I want to get through the Spirit, man. I pray you was edified. I want to give Kohen Laim La, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Machak Dash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone, peace, and salutation, like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without a message, Shalom, while Baba Ball, Shalom.